Welcome to Best Fountain Pen. Today we're going to talk about the Pilot Plumix Fountain Pen. I really like this fountain pen. Um, I didn't at first, so I'll tell you why in just a second. Um, but the looks of it aren't anything super special to me. I, I don't particularly like the look. It doesn't have a clip. It has these weird kind of ears. Uh, but there's something a lot more fun about this pen that makes it worth um, your really overwhelming $7 investment. That was a joke. For those of you who like fountain pens, this would be pocket change compared to many of the fountain pens that I've reviewed. But I do like the way this pen writes. And what's most fun about this pen, the Plumix itself, is that it has an italic nib. And if you've never written with an italic nib, I think it's really fun, but challenging. And it, what it is, is if you can see in the um, close up here, it's a kind of a squared off nib, like the tines are more squared and kind of blunt where most of your um, tips or nibs on the end have an iridium like ball that allows you to write kind of in any direction and the line width will be the same. Well, when it's squared off like this in an Italian nib, <laughs> Italian, in an italic nib, it'll write with a fatter downstroke and a skinnier uh, horizontal stroke. And that's just because of the way that the nib touches the paper. And that makes it fun. Your writing looks automatically a little bit more like calligraphy, which I really enjoyed. The part that is tricky um, is the nib is italic and that means that it's cut at a very sharp edges where a round one is round all the way around so it doesn't matter if the pen kind of rotates out of um, your original alignment as you write it's still going to write the same way there's not going to be any catching no skipping it's not going to give you any problems but with an italic nib uh, it tends to catch if you're not holding it exactly the same as you're writing and I discovered that I don't hold my pen exactly the same as I'm writing I tend to over rotate or under rotate as I'm writing and the sharp edges of the nib might catch and then it skips once in a while but it's it's not the pen's fault I know because I would reset myself and start again and the pen wrote fine and it wrote beautifully but only when I held it kind of still and made sure I wasn't rotating um, out of alignment and I tend to write I mean people have commented on many of my YouTube videos that I tend to write really fast um, so that's probably a personal issue of my own handwriting. I don't know if it'll affect you or not, but so that's why the pen kind of rotates as I write because I write so quickly. Where if you write a little bit more slowly or carefully, this probably won't be an issue for you, but it did teach me to slow down and kind of enjoy it a little more because I really liked how the writing looked when I took my time and see the broad kind of thick down strokes and a, and a thinner side strokes. I really thought that was really fun and you don't find uh, the option for an italic nib that often when you're looking at pins under ten dollars which this one is um, back to the design which uh, to, to me is not super impressive I mean I don't I'm not in love with the design it reminds me I'm trying to think it's not the pilot or is it the Parker Urban that has kind of an hourglass shape but also Mont Blanc has a Grace Kelly but it's not as much hourglass I don't know it's a it's a shape that's very hourglass through here at least in looks through the section and it has all these swirls, which you can see in the body of it, and just regular ABS plastic. I do like the transparent section. I think that's pretty fun. I like to be able to see the ink level, and then you know when you um, turn it the other way, you can see the ink kind of drain out and turn it right. You can see where you're at with your ink, which I really like. And then the translucent um, smoke gray body. Um, it also comes in like a bright blue, um, funny, almost like the same color as my cup, and, uh, and a purple. So you can see that there will be a link below that'll take you over. There's a three pack and there's also just a single where you can search to find it. Super cheap, like I said, seven bucks. And I wanna show you how it writes cause that's really the most fun part about this pen on the cap. There's no clip. That's the only downside to this pen that I didn't really like. Sorry about my docs. Up to a writing sample next. All right, it's time to go to a review of the Pilot Plumix, which we just went over. Um, I'm reusing some of my old paper. This is a Clairefontaine graph paper. So it's a really high quality, thick paper so you can see how it writes. Um, like I said, this is an italic nib. Uh, so you'll see some of the broader strokes against all the other rounded nibs I have here. But we'll take a look at just how it writes. And a um, little cheapy pen, which I really enjoy using. So let's take a look.
All right, so there at the end, I just wanted to give you a lot of extra pressure to show you the um, line width that you get depending on how uh, tight you hold the pen or how much pressure you put down with the pen. But the Pilot Plumix fountain pen is a medium metallic nib. This is also using the included ink cartridge with the pen. What a deal! And uh, obviously this review is courtesy of bestfountainpen.com. That's my website. You can check out the full review over there or there will also be a link below in the description to just buy this pen. Super cheap, under 10 bucks. I think I paid $7.99 for it and it includes one cartridge. So it's a really fun introduction to italic fountain pens too. And if I bring this just a little closer so you can see the difference, um, there are, it's a, a slight difference in that the up and down strokes or I guess vertical strokes are slightly wider than the horizontal strokes like this which are super skinny and then the more pressure I applied as I was writing like you could see it in the G and then it gets really thin coming up that's the italic nib which is part of the grind which means it's more of a kind of a rectangle grind versus a round grind like all these other pens here which all the lines are kind of the same there's really no variation so anyway I uh, hope you like this review. Thank you for spending some time with me today at bestfountainpen.com.